Um, and I think that's the role that we've we've been playing. <coughs> uh, Melina indicated first, and then John. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's very open and transparent. At the last figure, the village heard by it was one hundred and eighty-five thousand pounds. The tender is now £222,000, and when you take into account the interest, the cost of this uh, project is well over £300,000. I think we should go back to the village. Let them have their say. If they say, yes, we want it at that price, then fine. I think they should be given the opportunity to... And, and ultimately that's a decision for members to make tonight. Uh, they, they will make the decision that they wish to. And in terms of the costs, as I say, we we have made clear to to residents the the cost of the loan, uh, the the eleven thousand, um, what was eleven thousand two hundred and three pounds. Um, we've now been updated. Currently, were we to take the loan today, it would be eleven thousand seven hundred, um, because interest rates have gone slightly up. By the time we take the loan, they may have varied again slightly, but but within certain realms. May have gone up, may have gone down, Alina. We don't know. Um, the, the money markets are, are, are beyond our control. Um, so as it stands at the moment, the cost to residents in terms of their council tax is, is known. Um, in terms of the actual costings uh, going forward, we know that the Public Works Loans Board, when we take out the loan, will be a fixed rate of interest so that that cost will not uh, change. What was also reported in the last month's um, Brentnell News was the, the fact, obviously, that we know with our costings that we've done previously, we haven't, take, we haven't taken into account the rental that would be coming from the, the shop. So, obviously, that rental would be offset against the cost of that loan. And there was some query raised about the fact that it referred to year one in the Brentnell News article. That was because, obviously, the rental that comes from the shop is going up year by year, therefore the cost is coming down because that rental will be offset against the uh, the cost of the loan. So that's why the cost of the parish will be coming down from year to year based on the uh, the increase in rental. Oh, and you wanted to comment just, just on one on point. So just one small point on that as well, um, which I think you know your point is, is is fair. But one of the things that you have to also take into account is the building itself is going to increase in value. So over that 25 year period, the value it is when we build it will be significantly different after 25 years. So the growth of the value of the property, looking at property prices over the last 25 years, for example, so you've got to take that, in, that growth into account because it is to some extent self-financing. The other thing is also about the loan. I come back to the loan, I mentioned that earlier. Um, if we didn't take the loan by the end of February, we will almost certainly, well, I know we will lose it, we've been told we will lose it. So we're, we're then right back to the beginning again, we're right back to square one, where we were in the summer of 2022. And that, to me, is just not, uh, can't, can't happen. So. John? So, Chair, just, just to answer your points on camera, this is a very simple exercise. It's a very quick PowerPoint presentation that we take. Uh, a small amount of time to put together. We are, if you take this total project spending, including the interest payments over £300,000, I cannot believe uh, sat here that we couldn't communicate to the whole village via a very simple event that we can come and a very simple rubber stamping exercise that we have been open and transparent and communicate the facts. We held a consultation event. Uh, 18 months ago, where we presented figures. The figures are in excess of that number that was presented to the village. And this is a simple communication exercise for people who come for and against, but understand all of the numbers as we sit here in February, March 2024. <coughs> <coughs> Any other comments or questions? Mm -hmm. I, um, just a quick observation. Uh, John, you say it's costing. Uh, three hundred thousand um, pounds. Have you made any allowance for the income that we're going to get for the shop? Minimum over twenty-five years at three three thousand pounds is seventy-five thousand. So if you knock that off your three hundred thousand, you come down to what we're spending at the moment. So it's not costing. It's not costing that. 
Amanda? Plus there's the Section 14 stuff that needs to come off and the fact that 30% of the cost of this project is the toilets. That still needs to be taken into account. <coughs> we, we, we can't... Um, John, we, we can't maintain also um, an old building like the existing toilet block that really will require more money. It's got loads of problems associated with it anyway. Um, and it will be a better facility. Um, I think you've got to look at the bigger picture. The people, you know, cycling groups come through Brent Knoll and use our facilities. Cycling groups will probably come through more or more visitors will come to the village because we've got good facilities, we've got a good little shop. Um, it is the Brent Knoll community and that's essentially what we are what we are doing. We are, ben we are bringing an asset, we're improving an existing horrible asset grey, uninteresting, into a purpose-built building for the benefit of the village, all of the village, not for a few, all of the village, and we're all paying for it, um, and I think you, that's, that's all I can, I can say. Okay. Melina? Then maybe all of the village should be able to voice their opinion. The last yeah. event wasn't well advertised. It wasn't well attended. Put it out there. Let the whole village come along and decide. And if the majority of the village say yes, that's what we want, I will, as Charlie pointed out um, on next door, vote in support of it. As I say, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with your comment that it wasn't well advertised and we didn't have a good turnout. There was a good number of people who came <coughs> to that last consultation meeting. Um, but ultimately, as I say, it is a decision for members of this council. We are elected to represent the village. We don't operate under a, a referendum situation on, on anything that we, we do as, as such as, as councillors. You have a responsibility to make decisions for the benefit of the parish. Um, but ultimately, we have, a rep we have a proposal from John, which he has, has put forward. It will be up to members to decide whether they wish to to go down that route of, of saying we in effect don't make the decision ourselves, we ask the parish to make the decision for us, which is, in, which is I think what you're suggesting, John. My question was about the communication that we held an event to communicate to the village what we were planning, that was over 18 months ago. There are a number of people in this village who will have no idea, they may not watch this video, may not look at the notes. And it's a simple exercise of communication, communicating to the village where we are in 2024, February 2020, with all of the facts that they have. It's a very, very simple exercise. Well, there, yeah. there's, a, there's a difference between you because Melina wants a, a consultation where everybody makes a decision whether they want to go forward or not. Well, that decision's already been made in our two previous conversation, uh, consultations. I'm not sure whether, and correct me if I'm wrong, whether you were on the parish council at that time, whether you intend, uh, attended, I was, I was, forgive, and forgive I me if I'm wrong. So you, you were there then, I was, you saw the I was. I was the, the one that the, recommended advertising it on the cover of the Brentnell magazine, and you said, what a wonderful idea. <laughs> that's, that's really clever. And instead, it was hidden away inside the Brentnell magazine. And about 100 people turned up. <laughs> so, John, I think we just need to... So, so, that's fine. So, so as I understand it, that you're, I think you just need... Can, can you just clarify to me what your proposal is that you wish members to vote on? Sure, yeah, the, the, this is a very... It's, it's to hold an event where we communicate in a presentation the facts of this project with all of the numbers laid out in February 2024, that we all know the numbers with the total costs, so we can lay out a whole event where people can come and understand those figures face to face in our parish hall. With a view to what? So we have this event, you put out all this information, 
are people then making a decision on it? Because uh, that's what I don't understand. Because we, we have, if we're going to make, if we are going to go ahead with this project, as we've explained, we have a deadline we need to work with. We've got the loan facility, which is uh, coming to the end of its its availability. If we're just holding it an information session, then we can make the decision tonight to go ahead and sometime later in the year we make all that information available so that people know what's happening. Or are you saying that information is for them to make a, a decision for us to either go ahead or not? I don't know what your public consultation is actually seeking to 